What's up fam? It is me, Andre Taylor, and I am outside today. And why am I outside, you might ask? Well, because I've been kicked out of my house because no one loves me. I'm outside today because we're stuck inside because of what's going on in this whole quarantine so I wanted to bring some footage right outside to talk about something that I was scouring the internet for so maybe you are as well if you're here on this video. So as you may know, Apple released the iPhone 12 Pro back in November and one of the features that it had with it along with something that the iPad Pro has had is the LiDAR scanner. Now the LiDAR scanner, which is right here, and apparently I am filming myself as I'm filming myself, is really there for a lot of these more low light photos. So when you are taking those night mode photos, the LiDAR scanner really helps to bring out a lot more color and a lot more light. But what it's really great for is AR. And I know, especially with Apple coming out with AR glasses that right now were rumored to be at $3,000, which even for Apple, really? I wanted to go and download some of these AR apps and see how they ran. That way we could try these things out together. So let's check them out. So to start off our AR apps, we're going to start off with the app, Do Not Touch. It's a Nickelodeon app, an app for kids, but you get the main reasons that AR has been used. So. Let's check it out. All right, look at look at this little thingy. So I already went ahead beforehand and jumped through all these apps. That way I didn't have to accept the camera permissions. But so first you find a place, boom. And look at that. Now in our place, we have a button that we should not touch. Or can we? What happens if we touch it? nothing something has to happen when you touch it well but at least you get to see what AR is like in the world we also have this game called dance reality and so what dance reality is is basically it's a little dance studio inside of you so my instructor is too close so let's put her Somewhere else. Hey, instructor. Hi. Welcome, Welcome to, to Dance, Dance Reality. Reality. Music, please. Okay. So you should be seeing what your feet. Where's she at? Okay. Look at her. So, so this app's really cool because. Look at that. Look at this. My feet are right here, baby. Of the ashiest feet of all time. So maybe I shouldn't have done this one, but, boom. Okay, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. As you're seeing, AR has a lot of advantages to it, and let's continue to see what we got. So, so far, we have been zero out of two for the both AR apps, but that does not take away from the great possibilities that you get with these AR apps, especially with the LiDAR scanner. So next, well, let's play a game that we all know about called Angry Birds. Angry Birds and AR. Now this, this should be something. Okay. There we go. Now we got something. Boom. Oh, look at this. Okay. So we get a little bird. This is actually might be the coolest, coolest showing of it so far. Look at that, if, as I get closer. Boom, I only needed one bird for y'all, so I got the great score. Look at that, three stars, I think. Boom, three stars, baby. Find me on Angry Birds. To the next app, which is going to be Ikea Place. So let's open up the app. Right now it's loading. So now, if we put something in place uh, as you can see on my phone screen we have this great grill over here it'd be nice if there was a chair to go next to it obviously so we just place this little chair right here and boom look at that I don't know if that was the chair I should have should have done but let's put a lamp there too boom the lamp I don't know what I'm doing, but now look at that. So we got our real chair and we got 
this green chair over here and, and that's really cool because now you can really get to see everything in your area and really understand what your house would look like. I mean, yes, it doesn't look like the actual texture of what a chair would look like, but you still get what you need. Now let's go to some more fun ones like Monster Park. So this is to put dinosaurs in your area. Now, here we are. Place indicator. And we are going to get a dinosaur. Look at that. Look at this guy. Look at this. Hey, buddy. Oh, I can't put my hand in there. That is kind of cool. So you can have your own little Jurassic Park right in your own backyard. Oh, my God. It turned my whole balcony into Jurassic Park. This is kind of cool. Yo, I was, just, I was just playing around at first, but this is kind of cool. Look at this. Okay. Oh my god, it's a whole nother world! Oh my god! Pterodactyls flying around. Come on, buddy, let's go get something to eat. Okay, I gotta stop doing this or I'm gonna have too much fun, but you get the point. Those are just a couple examples of some AR apps that you could use. There are so many others on the App Store. You should check them out. I do think that LiDAR is not taking its full advantage yet on the iPhone and that it will be coming soon because right now it's mainly working for those nighttime visuals versus it really helping with AR and especially like we are hearing about all of the AR glasses and whatnot. If that dinosaur game is any glimpse into what the future of AR could be, then I am very happy. But tell me what you think. Actually, let's go back to Andre from yesterday. And yeah, so those were the AR apps. Please, in the comments down below, tell me what you think about it and if you think that AR is the future. My name is Andre Taylor. Please hit that like and subscribe if you like and subscribe to the video. And I will see you in the next one, fam. Bye.